Hello, hello. Good night. Hi, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good Hi, good evening. No me están despidiendo todavía, que acabo de venir. <laughs> good night. Es eso, eh. Good night. <laughs> Así que todavía no. <laughs> How are you? Si good night es para despedirse Hi. para irte a la cama. No hay dos. How was the weekend? What did you do on the weekend? Did you go to the mall, to the shopping mall? You stayed home? You went to the beach. What did you do? I put my Christmas tree. Ah, you put your Christmas tree. Okay, awesome. What else, guys? Which one? Who, Patricia, you? Ah, okay. See? ¿Quién puso el árbol usted? Yes, I. And my son. Ah, okay. I can see it. Let me see. Do this. Oh, it's beautiful. I like it. <laughs> Thank it's you. Beautiful. Yes. And you guys, what did you guys do? Mm. Nothing. Jorge. Uh, how do you say, uh, ir al pueblo? I'm going to, I was. I went to. Went to uh, my, my hometown. Small town. The small town. Uh huh. I went to my hometown, maybe. Okay, well, welcome, guys. Let's begin. We're going to start here with placement of adjectives. All right. So, give me one second. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's the one. Can you read the objective, please, Patricia? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn placement and adjectives particularly. You will learn B plus adjective and adjective plus noun. Adjective plus noun. Uh, plus one? noun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's practice that. Let's watch the video and take notes, please. Take notes on the structure in the examples. You know what to do, right? Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now, let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. 
finally we have the adjective stressful now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun we can follow this formula to better understand this topic article a or an plus profession plus has plus article a or an plus adjective plus noun so let's make sense of the first example now a firefighter has a dangerous job at the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A, then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article, A, then we will add the adjective and finally we need to add the noun which in this case is job now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far let me read them for you boring easy dangerous exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you Okay, how do you feel with this topic? Is it easy, difficult? What do you think? Confusing. It's easy. Easy? Okay. That's awesome. All right, look, I'm going to send an image. Okay. Mm, there it is. I sent it this image, guys. Look. If you can see it. Eso les envié. Okay. Ya les doy las profesiones. Y acá les voy a enviar este examen. These adjectives. An example. Okay, vamos a hacer dos oraciones por cada adjetivo. O sea, solo vamos a hacer one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six of them. That's it. All right, for example, I will have. Okay, díganme una de las profesiones de la imagen. Farmer. Farmer, vaya, tenemos farmer y qué adjetivo usamos de todos estos. ¿Cómo lo describirían ser un farmer? Mm. Ay, cansado es eso, creo yo. Pero vamos a decir... Stressful. Stressful, estresante. Yo creo que es difícil más que estresante, pero bueno, ahí cada quien. Entonces vamos a armar las dos oraciones con este. Okay. En uno tengo que usar el posesivo y en el otro usar has. Solo van a reemplazar, eso es todo, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a decir, a, ¿cómo sería? A, a, farmer. a, farmer. a, farmer. a farmer. farmer. A farmer. A farmer. A farmer's job, job is, is stressful. Stressful, ok. Stressful. Y la opción no sería? A farmer. Armor has, has a stressful has job. Stressful job. Y eso es todo. Solo hay que ir reemplazando, básicamente. Pero intenten que les quede la estructura, ¿verdad? <coughs> ok, are you ready? 
Vamos a hacer dos por cada adjetivo y ustedes yes. escogen qué profesión y cuál asignarle a, a cada uno. ¿Ok? ¿Ready? Let's Ready. practice. We're going to practice in groups of three. Here we go. Ok, hold on. There is. Accept the invitation, please. Policeman and football and football player. Ah, okay. Entonces sería uh, mm -hmm. football player. Jugador de fútbol. Bombero. Artist. Pasero. Okay. Entonces vamos para yeah. empezar. Uh -huh. Okay. El primero ya lo hicimos. Mm -hmm. Ya se hizo ahí con la teacher. Seguimos con Fres. Ok. Fres es. Uh -huh. ¿Y usted, María? Ay, mi mamá. ¿Cuál? ¿Va a agarrar waiter? ¿Fútbol? 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 Ay, no sé cómo. ¿Y engineer? ¿Cómo sería? Engineer. Uh, engineer. Engineer. Engineer, ajá. Pero tenemos que usar, creo, el apóstrofe. Engineers. Oh, engineers, ok. Ajá. Engineers. Mm. Engineers. Engineers. Mm. Sería yo y Dangerous, ¿verdad? Que es, es el que yo, vamos a usar. Ajá. Yo. Yo. Es. Dangerous. Dangerous. Sí. Dangerous. Ok. Luego... Entonces la uh, engineer normal sin el apóstrofe uh -huh. uh -huh. sería has a dangerous job. Has a dangerous Sería uno. Ok. Ahí ustedes pueden seleccionar la otra y la hacen igual. Um, Dangerous Joe sería al final. Sí, correcto. Ok.
Pilas. Ok. De ingenier. Ok. Entonces, a fútbol. Ahí sería has an easy, easy job. Porque yes, en vez de a, va a. Sería, ¿Cuántas llevan? Hasta la tijera. Vamos por footballer. Football. No, pero ¿cuántas horas? Son ¿Cuántos tres. adjetivos han usado? Quiero ver. Ah, hemos usado difficult, stressful. Easy. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Otra vez easy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, dos nos faltan entonces. Very good. Good job. Sí. Cada artist has. Ahí es en, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. como sí. en exciting. En exciting. Exciting. Veamos manager. Manager, yo hice es un adaptador. Exciting, emocionante. Ajá, exciting. Sí, ese sí, fíjate, podría uh -huh. ser. Pongámoslo. ¿Cuánto lleva? No, que sí. Pilot. Eh. We are to rate in four, teacher. Oh, okay, two more and you finish. A pilot. Two more, yeah. yeah. Otra vez, easy. Dangerous. A police. A policeman jobs. Policeman's Bo job boring. is dangerous. Boring. You say boring. Sí. Difficult. Sí. Price. Ya, ya está. Mm -hmm. Price. Price. Yeah. Entonces, Friars has a boring job. Entonces, ya las hicimos todas, ¿verdad? Sí, ya están todas. Ya están eh, todas. No, pero como solo era de usar... Ingenier, le puse yo. A Ingenier Job is danger. Yo también puse que a policeman jobs is dangerous. A policeman... Está muy bien. Ok, entonces office. A office worker, workers. Okay, welcome back. Who wants to share some sentences with me? Okay, compartanme una oración cada uno, please, quickly, quickly, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, a engineer job is dangerous. Yes, very good. <laughs> A no. engineer has a dangerous job. Okay. A doctor's job is stressful. Uh -huh. A doctor has a stressful job. An artist's job is exciting. And an, an artist has an exciting job. Very good. Mirti, Gabriela, Juan Silva. Nelson. A manager job is boring. A manager has a boring job. Good. A playing job is boring. A playing has, has, has a boring, a boring job. All right, awesome. One more. A football player, how is fun? 
<risa> Tres estaban hablando, creo. <risa> Cecilia creo que se estaba queriendo decir algo, pero se le oye bien lejos. Siento. A fireman job is dangerous uh -huh. y a fireman has a dangerous job. Pruebe haciendo eso. A veces cuando no me escuchan, yo hago esto. Me lo pongo así en la oreja. Me queda más cerca. Ah, ok. okay. Que le quede... Uh -huh. Casi no se le escucha. Ok, but it was good. Ok, great job, guys. Very good. Let's continue practicing then. Let me here. All right. We're going to go to section four. Starting section four. Let's see how to do this. Um, number one, Gabriela Algueta. Hmm. Uh, a police officer has a dangerous job. That's dangerous. A police, a police officer has a dangerous job. Ustedes si están en mute y me escuchan leerlo o algo, vayan repitiendo. Um, eso les ayuda también. A police officer has a dangerous job. Sí, ok. Esta parte la completaron todos y a todos les salió bien o le dio problema algún número en específico. Salió bien. Todo bien. Qué bien. Bueno. Yes. All right, number two. Number two, 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 guys. Cecilia. A teacher has a stressful job. Has a stressful job. Eso es mentira. <laughs> Desmiento eso. Con un grupo grande de niños, sí, pero si no, no. <laughs> a plumber's job is interesting. No, con ustedes no, para nada. <laughs> ok, next, Nelson Mancia. Number four. Estén listos que se llamó su nombre. A plumber. Para quitar el mute. Uh -huh. a, plumber, a plumber house has his boring job. A plumber has, has a, a boring job. 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 Very good. Kevin Goches. Yeah. An electrician has a difficult job. Very good, a difficult job. All right, Mirti. Mm -hmm. uh, a vendor has is easy. An easy in that case. An um, easy. An easy job. And it should be right. Okay, awesome. Very good, everyone. Thank you. All right. And I think the next part is the exam, right? Uh, maybe. Nope. Not really. All right. This part, we have to listen to the pronunciation. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and... Okay, in estos videos de reading, a lo que quiero que le presten atención a todas las actividades de reading es a la pronunciación y al vocabulario, ¿de acuerdo? All right. Inference skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading. Job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins.
Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Carlos Ruiz. Okay, any new vocabulary? Skill. Okay, who? One, two, three, or four? Audition. 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 She auditioned. Ese es un verbo. Tiene la S por she. Entonces dice, ella audiciona. She auditions. What else? Tire following. Following. Mm -hmm. Following is siguiendo. Following her dream. Her dream. Su sueño. Bueno, eh, igual ustedes lo van a leer, entonces escriban vocabulario nuevo si les queda tiempo. Ya terminaron de leer y todo, ustedes busquen el significado. Si no, me lo preguntan cuando estemos de vuelta. Okay. So, practice reading. You're going to work in pairs. Uno lee este, el otro este, y este, y se toman turnos. Okay, let's practice reading. Eh, and write down new vocabulary, please. Ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Accept the invitation, please. Here we go. Okay. is a busy man walks dogs for other people sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park Kevin leo la invitación Kevin no 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 eh uh, one second please hold on it Doris Doris Korea Doris Doris. Le voy a enviar otra. Ah, ok. Work at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities, and of course he teaches. His salary isn't great. But that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Algo le entiendo, así que vamos a intentarlo. Vaya. Eh, okay. da más prisa, sí. Hola, coach, estamos teniendo problemas con el audio de Oscar, así que no hemos podido practicar por eso. Bueno, quiero ver. No, es, aparentemente tiene el micrófono abierto, pero no te da. Esa es la configuración de su audio, Oscar. Los voy a mover a los dos, a un grupo de dos, para que... Ahí practiquen un poco, a ver. Eh, no sé cómo es el tipo de arriba. Este ah. es el de arriba, John Blues. Lot of teenagers want John Blues' job. 
he plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for for it. John is a video game test by a dog walker. Becky Peg walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at the one time. Oh, excellent. Teacher, Carlos Ruiz is a bus man. He, he, he for many hours. Right or sign, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. At one time, hello. Okay, okay Lily, le toca. Ok, eh, acérquenlo porque lo veo bien lejos. Sorfi. Hasta ahí llega. Bye. ¿Tú estás con teléfono? ¿Tú estás con teléfono? Oh. No, la mando. ¿Hola? Ah. ¿Lo mandaron? Sí. Vaya, Pero ahorita. Lo Quiero ver si lo puedo subir también. Eh. No, no lo tengo conectado. ¿no? Hey guys, all right guys. So what's the new vocabulary you wrote? Mm -hmm. New word? I don't know. What is the meaning of the schedule? Schedule. Yeah, and that is the pronunciation. Good, like yeah. this. Schedule, right? This is horario. Schedule. Mm -hmm. schedule. For example, if you say, I work. From 7 a.m. to, to 8 p.m. No, no, that's too much. 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is your schedule. Oh. Right? Okay. No, radio. okay. Uh huh. What else? Thank you. Thank you. Almost. Almost. For example, if you say, did you finish? Almost, teacher. One more, almost. ¿Qué significa? Casi. Casi. Bien, casi. Sí. Ya casi. Bueno, almost es casi. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. All right, what else? Yeah, lots of teenagers. Ah, teenagers. Teenagers. Oh, teenager. Uh -huh, teenagers, y es el No, teenagers son adolescentes. Y teenagers mm. en inglés son considerados los que terminan en teen, los teens. Por ejemplo, 13, ¿verdad que ese es 13? ¿Verdad? ¿Y el otro cuál es? 14. 14, 15, 16, 17. Todas estas edades son los teens, los teenagers. Mm. Los que están con el teen. Okay. Si ven algo que dice for teens es porque es para adolescentes, o sea, para los que están en la edad de los teens. ¿ya? All right, what else? Sometime. Sometimes or something. Sometimes. Eso es something. 
Yes, algo. Y sometimes es a veces. Algunas veces, a veces. Mm -hmm. A veces. This is sometimes. Es así, times. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Let's continue then. Let's go to the next part. Okay. Eh, me imagino que a todos. Let me see this. <coughs> Todos ya respondieron estas preguntas, papá. Porque hicieron el examen el fin de semana, ¿o no? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. The majority. ¿Quién no lo ha hecho? Pero ahí anda, anda el magic. No, ahí anda el magic. Ya lo muteé. ¿Quién no lo ha hecho esa parte? Porque si no, significa que no han hecho el examen tampoco. Y el examen era para el fin de semana, así que hay que estar pendientes de eso, que tienen que estar completas la sección 1, 2, 3 y el midterm, el examen del medio, ¿ok? Ya tendrían que estar completas para este fin de eran, así que revisen si está todo ok. Esta parte de responder no la vamos a hacer porque debería estar hecha y porque igual es opción múltiple, así que no, it's not so difficult. We're going to continue here with... Section four, I think. Let me see. Mm -hmm, exactly. Y esto es lo que tenían que hacer el fin de semana, ¿verdad? El examen. Ustedes identifican el examen porque tiene letras, no son números. De la A, la E usualmente. All right. So we are officially, officially, sorry, going to start section four. Let me get there here. And we'll see an introduction, okay? Juan Silva, can you read the objective, please? By the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. Mm -hmm. Very good. This is vocabulary. And pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. Yes, very good. War power foods. This is new vocabulary. Let's watch. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream. Butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, Cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mango, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains. Bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, 
fat, oil, sugar. I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and just learned. Strawberry. Okay, repeat after me and say fat, oil, oil. sugar, sugar, dairy. ¿Qué entienden ustedes como dairy? Diariamente. Entre dairy lo que tenemos es leche, queso y yogur. ¿Qué sería dairy? Lácteos. Lácteos, exacto. Ok, entonces lo que, bueno, repeat after me, sorry. Vegetables. Vegetables. Grains. Grains. Fruit. Fruit. La I no se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Fruit. 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 Meat. 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 Protein. Meat. Protein. Pro protein. Uh -huh, exactly. Protein. Okay. So this is dairy. Dairy. Uh -huh. Fruit. Fruit. And vegetables. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. Vegetables. Uh -huh. Veg. Eh, vegetables. 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 Vegetable. 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 Quisiera primero que agreguen una comida a cada categoría, que no estén acá. Por ejemplo, en la categoría de grasa, aceite y azúcar, ¿qué podemos agregar? Eh, pizza. Okay. Bueno, pizza, ajá. Entonces agregan una a cada categoría, pero digan la categoría porque esa es la idea. Y luego van a decir algo que les guste o que no de cada categoría. Van a decir, I like, y acá, I like cream, I like yogurt, I like lettuce, I like noodles, ¿ok? O si no, I don't like, de cada categoría. Son dos actividades, ¿ok? Is that clear or do you have questions? Mm -mm. Clear? clear? All right, awesome. Clear. Very good. Let's practice, and we're going to practice in groups of Three, here we go. The same station, please. Accept the invitation, please. No les ha llegado la invitación a algunos. Quiero ver. Dos, Melvin. Bueno, ahí está, ya estamos.
Sí, la escucho. Okay. Yo también. Ok, entonces sería, lo mío sería, I like um, um, a potato. I don't like a tomato. ¿De cuál es? En la, ¿De qué en la primera, en la fat, oil y sugar. Ahora en meat and the other protein. I like the fish. I don't like the nut. Oh, okay. My turn. Uh, I like chicken. I don't like fish. Okay, me toca. I like um, pasta. I don't like rice. Okay. okay. And that, diary. Um, I like the milk. I don't like the cheese. Okay, okay. Eh, mi turno. I like yogurt. I don't like cheese. Okay. Me tocan vegetales. Yes. I like broccoli. I don't like uh, lechuz. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería lechuz? Mm. Okay. Bye. Entonces quedamos bien. Ajá, ya estaría en las cuatro. Sería eh, chocolate, sería cream, onion cream. y hot. Sí. Sería hot. avena. Sí. I like hot, I don't like hot. I like pizza. Y ahí toco la pizza. Es solo un, un producto adicional, ¿verdad? Sí, solo uno, dijo. Por cada una de las. Ok. La crema. La crema. Bueno, la cebolla es un vegetal. Sí. sí. Entraría. Sí. Okay. Let's see what you added. Entre todos vamos a agregar una a cada categoría de los que escribieron y con eso terminamos. All right, so what okay. is it? Fat, oil, and sugar. Chocolate. Yes, very good. Chocolate. Okay, for dairy. Dairy, dairy, guys. Cool. Uh, dairy. Cool. Quesillo. Cream. Cuajada. Ah, ¿saben qué? Cool. Ya van a empezar. Cuajada, ¿cómo se llama el otro? Cool. Que son. <risa> Seguro. Bueno, con chile, ya van a darme todas las variedades. Te voy a dar uno general, vaya. Sour cream. Así le dicen a la crema. En, en inglés, como crema. Ah, ok. Le dicen sour cream. Vamos a poner las variedades acá. Duro blandito. Le da risa a Juan. Duro blandito. Cua. Ok, vegetables. What can we add? Onions. Onions. Oh, airplane. Aviones. Cucumber. ¿Quién dijo? Airplane. Airplane. Ah, eggplant. 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 Eggplant es la morada. ¿Cómo se llama? Berenjena. Berenjena, esa. Y cucumbers. Es cucumber. Cucumber, cucumber es pepino, ¿ok? Cucumber. Grains. Okay. What can we add in grains? Oats. Oats. Ah, oats. 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 Avena, ¿verdad? Oats. Avena. Oats. oats. Fruit. One more for fruit. Uh, 
Carts, carts. Grapes. Grapes. Okay. Right. For meat, another protein. Shrimp. 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 Fish, beef, chicken, meat. Pizza, fish, right? Fish, I start. Seafood, eh. Mariscos, creo que son seafood. Bueno, toda lo, la comida que sacamos del mar sería seafood. Atún. Ah, tuna. 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 Okay, perfect. All right, good job, guys. Thank you very much. I will see you again tomorrow. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.